I feel like I haven't turned on the camera in so long. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Jaylene Marie Cruz. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Setting up the camera is so, like, awkward. So, you guys, I am... Let me know if anybody else is like this, but I feel like during the holiday season, especially now, because we're in December, I feel like I'm usually not the type of person to read, like, holiday books, like, Christmas books, like, I don't think I could do that. Like, I don't know, I just choose, like, regular books, like, December TBR or put a list together. I never actually really just... I try to put a list together. I don't really follow it. I'm the biggest mood reader ever. <laughs> Since I don't really read, like, holiday books, I feel like I, you know, I could maybe in the future. Just to try here and there, but I, but I wanted to at least bring some... December or Christmas spirit. I feel like y'all to be honest. I don't I'm not feeling the Christmas spirit I really I really am not okay. It's not snowing. It's not honestly outside is pretty it is it is chilly and cold but i feel like it's not giving christmas that could also be like a home thing I'm, i mean i might as well just say, just say it i feel like christmas is not like what it used to be when i was younger for those out there who have divorced parents i have divorced parents so it's not you know it's not the same anymore but um i still try to have a little bit of spirit in myself to i don't know what i'm trying to say here. but i feel like it ain't the same as when we were younger okay i literally have videos of myself when i was younger opening christmas presents and i was like oh, oh, i miss those times i feel like because i just wanted to get a little spirit in i feel like we can read some christmas novellas so i chose some that i was seeing on tiktok and i only chose five um because some of the novellas are actually a little bit longer just for warning i mean it's not really a warning because it's it is content and i still love to make it um but i'm not reading any physical books in this video so i'm not picking up a physical like book i'm actually gonna be reading it on my phone just to say that because i know i don't know I feel like it's very, I don't want to say off-putting, but like it's so much better reading from a physical book because you get to record and it be something different, but you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and I make it work. I literally made a video with um, me reading Caught Up on my Kindle app and I thought it was fun and great and so yeah, if you read on your phone out there or anywhere on your tablet or wherever, it is okay. I'm going to be reading the five novellas on my phone. I feel like I only chose spicy ones, <laughs> to be honest. I don't remember. I saw a TikTok creator. Her name is Kiara Lewis. I love watching her videos and seeing her book reactions. Let me pull them up. I actually already downloaded them. I'm so sorry if I butcher her names. Y'all know me. I can't with the names. Okay, so for the five novellas that I really want to read, or that I was just seeing and I just chose five random ones, I feel like it, like I said, it'd be fun. The first one that I'm going to read is Trick Shot by Kayla Gross or Gross. Kiara Lewis, I saw that she was reading this one and I really wanted to read it. As y'all see by the cover. Yeah! it's a spicy christmas novella so the next one is called toasty toasty inside by zoe mona i need to stop ending off each name with a question mark okay zoe mona melt for us by molly doyle i actually read three books two books from her already they are in this this melt for us like novella is part of a series and if you were around like on book talk around halloween time there was a, a novella called scream for us and that is like them in melt for us next one and i'm super excited for because i absolutely love this author after reading a series by her but it's called second bite by sj tilly i absolutely love sj tilly's um if you don't know she has a series called the alliance series nero king dom and then she has the book four coming out in the series and i'm so excited i literally hope that i get an arc i signed up for an arc <laughs> i'm obsessed and i love the series and <gasps> I'm so, I really hope I get an arc because I'm so excited for this book. It's literally coming out this month. But Second Bite by S.J. Tilly. And it, as y'all can see from the picture, those pastries making me hungry. They look good, okay? So I'm excited to read that. For the last one that I actually never really read by this person before. I've only read by two. I only read from Molly Doyle and S.J. Tilly. I've never read from Kayla or Zoe. But this next person, or this next novella, a holy night novella, and it's called Christmas on the 13th Floor. And it's by Lee, y'all, I don't know how to say this last name. I'm about a butcher. I'm about a butcher. I by Lee, Lee Jacquois. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I think it's like a workplace no novella. 
so i'm really really excited to read those okay 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 i don't know i don't know which ones to read first okay i don't know which ones to read first which one should, we, should we do like a number generator or you know a list a random number list generator i just looked that up on google all right let's generate let's see which one okay i guess we're going with number four and in my photos i'm gonna just do one two three four one two three four okay i'm excited for this one okay i'm gonna read or the one that um is number four is second bite by sj tilly <sighs> i definitely need to read other sj tilly books because i know she has other ones out there but like the alliance series obsessed i should probably read the blurb to you guys hello duh jaylene okay here's the blurb follow along y'all follow along when a holiday baking competition goes incredibly wrong or right michael i'm starting to think i've been doing this for too long the screaming fans the constant media attention the fat paychecks none of it none of it brings me the happiness i yearn for yet here i am another year another holiday special another christmas spent alone in a hotel room but then the lights go up and i see her alice it's an honor to be a contestant i know that but right now it feels a little like punishment because any second chef michael Kesso, the man i've been in love with for years the man who doesn't even know i exist is going to walk onto the set and it will be a miracle if i don't pass out at the sight of him but the time for doubts is over because second bite is about to start in three two one to those who live in a small town y'all get me i have no we are about to read in, in just a moment but to those who live in a small town when i tell you guys i would love to go to like a bookstore we have a bookstore here but it's not like it, he like collects like older books you know not the books that you know now read but like i still go in there because it's so nice and it's so fun and he has like a cat but it's just not like you know i'm not expecting it to be like a barnes and noble or like a books a million but i really wish that i had a bookstore close by i feel like it's definitely harder for me to bookshop if i wanted to but it's okay okay second bite Let's get to reading. This is gonna be fun. Y'all, y'all, okay, Michael, he is, I need this in real life. He basically said, I quote, or Michael quotes, her, her whispered voice is all the confirmation I need. This woman is mine and I'm gonna find a way to keep her. They just met, they just met. Can I just like, can I just like, like, you know, just like jump in a book? Cause babe, these men out here, there are some good men out there, but like, I need a fictional man. <laughs> and I have like 800. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me stop. This woman is mine, I'm gonna find a way to keep her. Oh, okay, okay. y'all i am playing i am playing this is making me hungry she is she is she says i'm making a red velvet white chocolate swirl cake topped with peppermint vanilla cream vanilla cream cheese frosting that sounds good you guys i'm sorry for the lighting it's like really yellow right now but, but you know how in shows or because he's a chef michael is a chef and he's trying to make sure that because there, there's cameras around and he doesn't want people to know that that he likes her and that he doesn't have favorites so he's literally being and he's trying not to be but like he's being mean to her and oh my god i hate that i literally oh he literally just called her like what she made because it was something happened with like her dish and it didn't go right and he was like this is an abomination i was like oh. i was like oh my god i'm on chapter 15 she's crying She's crying. No, I don't like this stuff. It's okay, Alice girl. It's okay. Lift your head up, girl. Come on. But no, so far, but so far, I'm enjoying the book. I'm on page 76. He said, please don't cry, baby cake. The pressure of his hand on my back increases. I can't take you crying. I'm over here like, oh, baby cakes. Oh my God. But in real life, I'd be like, Michael, Michael just went into her room to apologize and he heard the elevator like ding went into her room and then he said F it <laughs> It's just total silence. Yeah, so stuff is happening
literally love this. I'm on page 139 and 68% in. And right now it is 4.50 p.m. I started like 3.30ish. I guess I get it why it's called second bite because he normally doesn't take a second bite from other people's like dishes. So if he takes a second bite, it's good. And it's the winning, winning dish, I believe. y'all saw i literally had to eat because i got hungry and it's a bit later right now it's actually much much later um it is 8 55 about to be nine as you guys saw i finished <clears throat> i actually was sitting on it for a little bit because i had things to do and then i came back so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and give it 3.75 stars it was actually really good i don't think i mentioned it but it's also <laughs> this novella is actually an age gap as well so alice is 30 and michael slash mike is um 45 i feel like i need to read more novellas like i feel like i don't read no i do i do read a lot of novellas i just forget how like because a lot of series start with a novella but now i'm gonna give it 3.75 stars i actually really really liked it it was so fun i mean i gave it 3.75 because they like he was like you're mine and he's like because he chase he goes to canada wherever she is okay because i saw that he had to fly to canada but they have a moment um, they say the I love you's so quickly, so I feel like that's what you can expect in a novella. Yeah, that was, it was like super quick, you know, they had their spicy, steamy moment. I was going to keep the rest for tomorrow, but I think tonight I just want to read one more because I'm like super excited to read all of these. Okay, let's go to the generator. And then I put one to five, like I said, or like we did earlier. Second bite was number four. So if it lands on four, we gotta do another one. I'm gonna generate okay one so one is <gasps> i actually really wanted to read this one so the one that is number one one was trick shot or generate <laughs> why am i saying one? Oh my god it won but trick shot by kayla gross let's go read the blurb i actually did read the blurb on all of these but i gotta read it for y'all hello <gasps> okay <clears throat> leo mcknight an identical twin to a famous hockey player finds himself caught up in a case of mistaken identity on Christmas Eve. When Leo unexpectedly bumps into the captivating Riley at the airport, he's both assumed and intrigued by her assumption that he's his re <clears throat> renowned brother. Embracing his mischievous side, Leo decides to play along, relishing in their flirty banter and clever exchanges. But as fate would have it, their flight gets cancelled and Leo seizes the opportunity to spend more time with Riley. With a devilish glint in his eye, he invites her to spend the night at his pen penthouse. With an intriguing woman, his best friend Jace, and a whole night of possibilities ahead of them. Leo has all the ingredients for what promises to be a, mem a memorable Christmas Eve. I've been seeing this one everywhere, so I'm really excited to read this one. Oh my gosh, this is like, I don't wanna say it's like a full book. For me, it's showing it's 269 pages. Oh my God, there's, there's a holiday cocktail recipe. Girl, I'm about to make this. Okay, y'all, let's get started. I feel like I'm getting delirious and tired right now. <laughs> Look what I have on. Oh my god, with my hair like this, I feel like an elf. No. I don't think I can handle this. <laughs> this is my like an ugly Christmas sweater, but I don't I don't think it's ugly. I actually think it's kind of cute. Like, hey! And then it has a hood. Oh my gosh, with that. And then it has a little <gasps> actually. I'm actually kind of sweating already. It is the next day. I actually got to because I actually had to do something today first by the way it is also 2 p.m so i haven't read at all today actually it was a whole thing this morning but feeling a little bit the spirit today um with my ugly christmas sweater but i still consider it kind of cute a couple updates before i talk about um trick shot by kayla gross i actually yesterday I, I believe it was yesterday i actually hit 500 subscribers that is that is crazy 500 i all i can say is thank you so so much i have been receiving some like good news today um the subscribers 
and it's just not like about the number of subscribers because I'm I'm really I'm really really grateful and I'm if you are watching and you have made it this far thank you so so much I don't know it's so fun and I really like being a part of this you know whole reading you know book community and you know just sharing my life to be honest yeah I just really enjoy it and I, I really think it's fun and if you are somebody that wants to get into whatever creation you know book or reading or whatever it is your vlogs start it and enjoy it for yourself but once again thank you guys so so much for 500 very thankful today so thank you <laughs> let's get back to the novellas i'm still reading trick shot by kayla and i'm loving it so far like like this is actually this is really really good um i got like 38 percent in what was i saying it's so basically Riley and Leo because he has a twin brother so it's Leo why am I not explaining this right I need to sit back because my bad girl my bad. basically Lucas is like this famous NFL player but like when Riley meets Lucas it's actually Lucas's twin brother Leo so her flight gets canceled his flight gets canceled because he had to go somewhere and I really hope you guys are understanding because me talking just I'm just at this point talking to talk flights get canceled they're talking Da -da -da -da. one thing leads to another she's going to his penthouse going to leo's penthouse so leo's pretending to be lucas which i'm not a big fan of like the whole line thing like why well, you gotta lie to the girl i'm only 104 pages in but it's getting spicy obviously it's a spicy novella <laughs> but um this man literally said can i shave your legs and he had no problem with that he's like i don't give a fuck about hair i don't give a fuck about this i know it's the bare minimum oh it's the bare minimum okay and i'm ready i know it's the bare minimum it's a book hello oh and then i didn't finish i didn't finish <laughs> jace because it's leo and leo's best friend is named jace basically the fun night is leo riley and jace leo pretending to be lucas so we're gonna continue to read that and then once we're done we're gonna go ahead again and generate and figure out the next one The fact that I'm reading all this on camera <laughs> What am I reading? I mean, I did sign up for this, so next chapter <laughs> Chapter 11, you guys <laughs> I just want to read this stuff out to you guys But <laughs> I'm not used to reading this stuff out loud I can't <laughs> I have a good poker face okay so when i'm reading this type of stuff it's just like on command i'm like but like right now i'm laughing because i'm not in public but in public i'm like i don't even read with it like light like i only read it like dark mode but when i'm home i put shit on light okay something that i really love in books and i feel like it is something till this day is about being free because like i said this is like an mmf romance not like an mfm it's only mmf but like reading about you know what's the word being bi bisexual pants you know literally so many things that people um prefer or see themselves as you could literally write about it and be yourself <clears throat> they're going through their their scene and it's just like leo the guy that's pretending to be his twin brother is like realizing that he might love his you know his best friend jace while they're like in the middle a spicy scene if you know what i mean i think that's just what i wanted to bring up because we're in a generation where now you if whatever you want to be babe i'm 100 i support you i don't give a fuck, okay i will be your number one okay i will always be there <laughs> i think i just wanted to say that and just talk about that because it's so important nowadays you know i'm on page 161 so we're almost done It's a little bit later. It's 5.56. I finished Trick Shot. It's, it's good. 
when you go into it, just know when you go into it, it's, it's very spicy, like I said. Um, it's MMF Romance. Yeah, just know that when you go into it. It was very, I, it was enjoyable, but at the same time, I was like, sometimes skipping over some parts. But at the same time, I don't want to do that, so I would go back and read it. Um, I sat on it for a little bit. I think I want to give it, and it's not about the ratings, to be honest. Since I am, like, making more book content, I don't want to be, like, yeah the ratings and stuff but i'm here to literally just like enjoy the books for sure i'll say a rating but at the same time i'm like a rating i'm just gonna go off the top of my head and what my gut feels i think i want to give trick shot 3.5 we could say 3.5 such such a good fun read a holiday christmas read i enjoyed it i loved riley and i really loved how the guys in the book um made riley feel um confident and comfortable because in the book she like talks about like her ex was giving her a lot of insecurities and stuff like that and i was like you go riley girl let these men worship you girl okay girl okay worshiping her in the book but at the same time it was also like a relationship between um let me forgetting their names already jace and leo fun read spicy read Hi i mean highly recommend read it read it girl okay read it do i want to read another one tonight all right i think i think i'm gonna read one more tonight i think i should I think I should. So a reminder, I've already read Trick Shot and then I've already read Second Bite. So the three we have left is Toasty Inside, Melt For Us, and then Christmas on the 13th floor. Generate. Let's generate one more time. Obviously again through one through five. Okay, two. Number two in my photos is, and that is Toasty Inside by Zoe Mona. I actually have never heard of, how did I figure, how did I get this book? I honestly looked up like on TikTok like Christmas holiday novellas. All right, I'm going to read the blurb. If you want to skip, skip, but follow along. A funny, sexy holiday novella, a bubbly college student, a grumpy recluse. On winter break from college, Cynthia returns to her small town for the holidays. After a wrong turn, her hike turns deadly and she awakes to find herself snowed in with a rumored kidnapper she quickly discovers that the burly mountain man is griffin a genius a doy <laughs> i need to stop <laughs> a doy she quickly discovers that the burly mountain man is griffin a genius adult toy inventor with the soft spot for cookies and his little dog comic what was supposed to be a surprise visit home turns into a week of pleasure filled with toys, gadgets, and a lot of jolly cheer. After a casual holiday fling, will Griffin be able to return to his life of solitude or, or has his little sin found a way to warm his cold heart? Oh, I know why I chose this one. Because I saw the dedication on like a girl's TikTok. I saw the dedication and I was like, I'm adding that. Because I was literally talking to y'all about this earlier. The dedication for Toasty Inside is to everyone who reads Holiday Smut with a straight face, good luck. So that's why, because... I'm good at it. So, we're gonna test that. Let's get into it. Chapter 1 is Cynthia's point of view. Let me... Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. In the book, it is snowing and she's hiking. No, you will never catch me. Hiking? by yourself and it's about to get dark outside y'all the way that i just like update you guys because it's so fun but he just said after founding her he said maybe she was left here as a present just for me are we gonna get some like crazy shit y'all <laughs> you guys it was time it was time to take off the christmas sweater and get myself comfortable but um i'm still reading i like this cynthia the girl that fell and like i don't know hit her head i don't know if she hit her head no she did because she has a bump she's described as like green hair i don't know if you guys have read what's that series it's a series by rena kent it's literally like one of my faves royal elite and if you guys know kimberly in that series her hair is described like with greenish things i don't know that's the thing in kim kimberly's hair was described with like bits of green but cynthia's she's describing it as like green so <laughs> i'm over here thinking like a full head of hair green like green hair but i don't know cynthia is so straightforward she knows what she wants uh griffin hey griffin how you doing we love a good mountain man who keeps to himself and like you read in the blurb he owns an adult toy he's an adult toy inventor so <laughs> So Cynthia is gonna repay Griffin by using like his toys. <laughs> but she's like confident too. She's like, in her point of view, she's like, I want this man. Okay, I'd be terrified. Girl, you just entered a whole new dimension. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. They're making like like safe words and all of that stuff. 
and I'm loving the little dog comment. Oh, I might finish this tonight. I'm on page 58 and there's 126 pages. I just got to a part where he he's by himself, you know, in the mountains. And he was like, he looked at Cynthia and he was like, well, I guess she was like dozing off. He was like, it feels good to finally have someone because she's alone. <laughs> and he's like making his toys and he was like ashamed because his friends were like making fun of him. And Cynthia was like, oh my God like no like <laughs> he was like alone and he didn't want to be alone and he felt like because he was alone for so long he felt like feel like he's good enough for her i like this one a lot <laughs> I like this line. Griffin says, it's Griffin's point of view right now. I'm almost done. I'm, I have I'm on page 106. He says, I never imagined that being with someone who is perfectly in sync with every beat of me could be possible. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, I just got back. I had to go out really quickly. That is gonna be the last one for tonight. I think we have two more for tomorrow. We have, yeah, two more. We have Melt For Us and then Christmas on the 13th floor. Left to read tomorrow, but I absolutely love Toasty Inside. Like that one was my favorite. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars. It was less pages, but like it was so good. Like the writing was so good. Like I would love a full book of them. I loved it. Please go read it. And if you read it, let me know what you think. Right now, it's 9.21 p.m. I'm going to probably chill out for a little bit, watch some TV, go to bed. And then I will see you guys tomorrow for the last two novellas. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Hi, guys. It is the next day. It's about 12.10 in the afternoon. Two things. Don't mind those clothes back there. If you have a little brother, you know, you know. I don't know what he be doing. He hung, he hung up his clothes. Don't mind that. <laughs> but, um... And also, don't mind outside. There is literally a person cutting a tree down. I don't know how I feel about it. I like how I'm getting serious about a tree. It is the next day. We're gonna read another novella. We have two left. I'm really enjoying reading all of these. Okay, let's just get straight into it, y'all. Let's get straight into it. The two novellas that we have left are Melt For Us by Molly Doyle and then Christmas on the 13th Floor by Lee Jacqua. Let's go back to the generator. Obviously, the generator can't pick four, one, or two because we already read all those. So we have three and five left. So it's either it's either or one or two, one or the other. Okay, went with three. Ah, oh, first try. Okay, so three in my photos because, like I said, I have it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, <laughs> y'all, y'all understand like how in the order it is in your photos. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, number three is Melt for Us by Molly Doyle. I'm actually kind of excited to read these because i kind of want to update of um the characters that i read because i read the series like i mentioned already by her it started with scream for us bloodshed i forgot what the series is called the whole series is called order of the unseen by molly doyle i'm excited to get an update on these characters because if you don't know about scream for us it's basically you know quinn and three masked men that's basically it okay i'm gonna read the blurb after going to a cabin in the woods quinn finds herself stuck in the midst of a blizzard with her three masked men um as they spend the holidays with one another quinn is left captivated christmas and new year's eve will never be the same tis the season for giving and receiving holy not soul silent night if you are planning to read this whole series definitely trigger warnings for sure okay, guys let's get into reading I guess it is um it's like a mini spoiler but it, i don't think it's that serious but in the series quinn is somehow connected to these masked men <laughs> i feel like that's all i can say i feel like that's all i can say but yeah she's she's connected to these masked men so yeah they're like having their christmas holiday or wh whatever in a cabin but like it's good to like catch up and read them again and really think like oh so this is what happened but yeah once again she's connected to these masked men somehow <laughs> Okay, so I just finished. I just finished Melt For Us, but I feel like if they're like very short, I feel like I don't need to rate them, I guess I could say. I'm not gonna rate this one. I'm just gonna mark it as red. I don't, f I don't feel like it's fair of me to, I mean, everybody has their own opinion and it's fair to, you know, make your rating and, and stuff like that, but 
it's short I don't, I don't feel like i have to put a rating on it i have been doing it but i think i'm just gonna you know mark them red even though it's it's short you know it's not a full book so but i i liked it it was good to see the guys again and just them being with quinn again because it's in the series that the guys um the masked men they go through stuff that's honestly you know traumatic um so like after they like do something it's just like it immediately goes straight into like a spicy you know scene it's like very quickly right away um you know how those books go okay it was good a fun spicy intense novella i can say that that's all i really have to say on that one we have the last one to read the last one that we have to read is christmas on the 13th floor by lee Jar jacqua that's the last one we have to read this one is a bit longer let's get straight into it for the last one yeah this is a this is the workplace one okay so here's the synopsis or blurb my boss mr chen sucks he's the biggest grinch that's ever plagued the earth and not even his crappy face or his black card can make up for his crap personality i can write a book about all the ways i hate him and his alluring dominance that somehow attracts everyone including me but instead i'll settle for, for being a pain and continuing to defy him in any way possible while still keeping my job the only person is that he likes to ruffle my feathers as much as i do his so he's forcing me to attend the annual christmas party it was on the tip of my tongue to deny his demand but instead i found myself enjoying his order i also like the way his eyes lock on me following my every move they say it's the season of giving perhaps i should see what my boss has to has to offer okay let's get into it real quick y'all because this is the last one Y'all, this is giving me like 50 shades of gray vibes. It's it's catching my attention, but at the same time, I literally like fell asleep. But yeah, it's giving me 50 shades of gray vibes because I'm just going to read what it says. What it says here. But it says, Roman nods, standing from his chair and moving to the front of his desk in a fluid motion, barely giving me time to sink back into my chair to maintain distance. Okay, y'all, let me just continue reading. You guys, I swear my my intuition is the best, okay? Y'all know how I said this is like 50 shades of gray? Well, he brought out, they're having a moment in the elevator because he just bought her like a dress, an Oscar de la Renta dress. And they have a moment, he brings out like, you know that scene in 50 shades of gray? If you haven't watched it, you haven't watched it. But he brings out like these, no, I can't, but yeah. Y'all know what I mean when he brings out those little balls, okay? Okay. But I said, this reminds me of Fifty Shades. He, she says, she says, this isn't Fifty Shades. But then Roman smiles and he's like, oh, but Mr. Gray was onto something. But right now I'm on page 77. I just had to keep going. I was about to DNF it and not read it anymore, but I'm gonna just keep going. See how it ends. Yeah, gonna keep reading and I will update you guys later. I'm here to end off the video. I finished the novella, you guys. Towards the end, it was really, really good. I think the beginning was just kind of like, it was like a little bit of a build up, but um, I'm glad I didn't DNF it because it was actually pretty good. One thing at the end though, it was like the epilogue at the end and they were like already getting married and saying I love you. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> when did this happen we didn't get this part but like that's what you're gonna expect in a novella okay when they fall in love very quickly still so far out of the five that i read toasty inside and that one was short very short too toasty inside by zoe mona was so good love that one there's something about it the writing was so good like i need a full story immediately i think that's that's all for me you guys um i just wanted to be a little bit in the <laughs> Was I in the Christmas spirit or was I in the novella spicy spirit? Um, I don't know, but um, but I don't know. Just wanted to bring in some cheer and m laugh a little bit, I guess, with these novellas. Well, not laughing, but 
you know, you know what I mean just like read to read and have a good time you know if you made it this far thank you thank you so much I really appreciate it and once again thank you so much for 500 subscribers like at the end of 2023 like that's great oh wait I'm I'm like gonna like tear up <laughs> literal like that's crazy I really 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 appreciate it thank you so much yeah loved all the novellas definitely check them out they were all so good um thank you guys so so much for joining me if you made it this far and once again thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye